my god sister she goes she lives in um denver she went to denver north and the teachers at denver north were like pr- making pueblo such a bad thing like when they would talk about it and everything like that such a bad fucking place and then you watch south park does <laughs> oh, you, no. you know what i mean like it gets it's perceived as a bad place everywhere yeah, vive la yeah. <laughs> and just Baseball. say like I travel for I travel for work, and so people from I go to Walsenburg and I go to Canyon City yeah. and like Los Angeles, Lahana, everything like that. And so people always say something about Pueblo, but I'm like, look where I'm at. Like, you have to see your own town too. Like, Walsenburg is a very very bad place right now, and it's so sad to see. But it's just like a lot of Southern Colorado is. But then you go up north, and it's, it's different, but it's still the same. It's just gentrified as fuck. Yeah. Exactly. That's just what's happening. And Polis is um, busing how many homeless people from Denver down this way? Because it's so bad up in Denver. Is that a fact? It's yeah. a fact? Yes, yeah, absolutely. So. It's over 3,000 homeless people they're transporting by bus from Denver to Pueblo, and I don't quote me on Walsenburger down south, but it's definitely they're coming to Pueblo. And that's why our homeless rate has gone up so much is because they're getting bussed down here. And that's why it's gotten so bad in Belmont. Jesus. Is, yeah. That if, fuck just got put back into office, too. Yeah. I mean, I feel and like I mean, if you, I mean, job, if you go but... to Denver and if you go to the Denver capital, there's camps. Oh, yeah. It's all set up. Yeah. yeah it's every, and that's exactly it's really why bad. they're doing it. And I mean, it's almost understandable. And I mean, I've. I've heard people be like, oh, well, just, like, go send them out of state. Okay, but then, like, that's going to make it the... But then people are that's like, oh, that's their it. problem. Exactly. That's what Moving I'm saying. That's not how you shit. fix it. It's kind of it a, just makes it it's someone else's problem. I mean, yeah, and it's kind of a broken deal because a lot of those people, like, when, the like, COVID hit, and, like, you, it really opens eyes to the number of businesses and people who were literally living, like, paycheck to paycheck barely. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And as soon as that little bit of income they had got dishclothed out from under them... They had nowhere else to go. That's most Americans, bro. But yeah, it is, but it's like still today too. It's it's hard to see, and I have like old fashioned views. I just wish that like people would have the opportunities to save money and then try to like Im- like brace for these impacts. You know, not everyone's but what's built super, that what's, way. Yeah, but what's super unfortunate is it's hard to be. There's a lot of people that don't even have a savings account. They they can't because have a savings they can't. account. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, a lot of people. It's it's hard to save fucking a hundred bucks a month, bro. Because mm-hmm. cost of living is not cheap. Yeah, so well, absolutely job, that. And then you have to think of like all these other expenses. Like for me to say like I have pets mm-hmm. and to say last night I came home and my oldest dog, the pit mastiff, was covered in fucking hives from oh, shit. like face to the Damn. back of her freaking toes like I gave her chocolate covered no ew I would kill you I would kill you no so then like she's I'm like, doing so, everything so I can now she's like nah I really gotta get rid of her so no no that's <laughs> it's the other one it's the pit terrier the pit oh, okay, mastiff okay, okay. I'm both. keeping the pit mastiff <laughs> is I gotta my get rid of child both. I know but no just say like I called the vet. The vet is like, okay, 